So apparently the post-apocalyptic survivor look isn't totally socially acceptable yet. So recently I went to go and get the near sentient creature that my hair was slowly becoming trimmed back into something more tameable. And then my mom was like, you know, it's summer now and you don't have college till fall. If you cut it shorter and you don't like it, it'll have plenty of time to grow back before then. Be adventurous. And a small quiet part of my soul went, but what will my internet friends think? But I agreed to be mildly adventurous and it actually didn't turn out horrible. I don't think. In fact, I'm pretty sure I actually might like it. And I can still wear hair clippies. And I feel like any kindergarten self impersonations will be frighteningly more realistic. Actually, as the lady was finishing up, she was saying something about how much more adult I looked now. And in my mind, I was simultaneously wondering what it was going to look like in pigtails. Maturity! Really didn't want to make this vlog entirely about my new haircut. But here's a vlog entirely about my new haircut. You're welcome! I actually sat down to try and plan something to actually vlog about and quickly realized that I have spent the unhealthy majority of the past few days watching Power Rangers with my littlest brother. Maturity! Quite honestly, I think the most productive thing I've done all week is scribbled this comic about unicorns. I also drew a lot of narwhals during church. You guys, I'm so good at life! And just in case my soul isn't technically an internal organ, small intestines. Is that an organ? Welcome disturbed viewers who are new and out of context. I actually googled lists of internal organs online because I am running out and some of Google's ads for me are just lovely. Find internal organs online. Free shipping. $50 on 100,000 items. Looking for internal organs? Find them nearby with local.com. That sounds like a dating site, but I'm hoping it's not. Google knows me too well. Bye, I will see you eventually without actually seeing you.